Uh, despite a skepticism from his friends, Rawlinson's passion and creativity fueled his desire to use homemade drones for greater good. He aims to build and innovate, and he's hoping to fly commercial to get a commercial license one day. Uh, for more, I spoke to Lawrence Twambo from uh, the Lus Zambian capital, Lusaka. Welcome to Africa 54. Thanks. Uh, I'm glad to join you here. Briefly tell us a little bit about yourself. You look so young. What are you working on? I do electronics and code programming and projects are uh, built from local materials. Yeah, so I started this art of making uh, electronic components uh, from the time when I was 10 years old. Yeah, so what inspired me to do this is that uh, when I was young, I, I loved to repair electronic stuff, and that motivated me to start building my own. Where do you get these uh, materials from that uh, you use to uh, build the uh, different uh, products? So with electronics, normally I get from local dead electronic appliances. But if I need more ones which are more complex, uh, which can't be found here in our country, I normally order from China. And for the other stuff, like for the shows, I normally use uh, local materials like cardboard, wood, um, wires, and other rubber stuff. Who inspired you or what inspired you to start uh, building uh, uh, locally made uh, planes from uh, uh, locally sourced uh, products? There are a lot of people who inspired me, others are just from local, the pilots here in our local country and also in the drone tech industry. One of the guys who inspires me is Unichasan. He's the one who uh, taught me to do more in, in those things uh, since I had an inspiration over drones. So I met him and he tried to teach me one or two things about them. From the time when I was young, I've always dreamed to be uh, a pilot. Yeah, so for, for that case, uh, I thought of start, uh, starting from small small to big. And how many of those uh, locally made planes have you made? So far, there are more than five. And they can fly? Yes, yes, and they can fly high. You said one of your dreams is to become a pilot. And uh, yes. by you making your, your own planes, uh, you are closer to uh, becoming uh, a pilot. Do you have plans maybe to go to like a pilot uh, piloting school? Do you have plans maybe to study uh, aer aeronautics? Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, actually, my plan is to uh, first do uh, aeronautical engineering to design uh, planes and to do more with uh, planes in piloting industry. You are 19 years old. Where do you get the money to buy some of these materials that you used uh, to uh, make these uh, planes that fly? Here in my country, I'm a drone operator. I offer drone services. So through those uh, drone services, when I offer services to people, they pay me. I try to venture myself, uh, like my, the money, into building my own self-paid uh, drones. Being that uh, in drone industry and services uh, we use these drones which are made from other countries so it inspires me to do more than that whereby i'll build my own uh, local made drones and start using them for drone services like photography uh, surveillance and mapping and also uh, wheel dive tracking and many more drone services in operations when i was a, a bit younger like you my dream was to one day also to fly planes my father used to buy me like toy planes i was the kid who always had uh, these planes flying all over so my dream was one day to uh, maybe to aspire to become a pilot but unfortunately it never materialized that's why i'm talking to a smarter guy like you yes exactly are you a certified drone pilot I'm a certified drone pilot. I, I acquired my uh, certified skills from Allison and online school from United States. That's where I acquired my uh, drone uh, certification and operations. So you are based in Zambia, but you did an online class uh, in the United States, and you are a certified drone pilot as we speak. Yes, yes, actually, yes. You could actually make a career being a drone pilot, or you could make a career being an actual pilot who fly these jumbo jets, uh, the, the Boeings. Where do you see yourself in maybe the next uh, 20, uh, 30 years? I feel myself uh, doing more. 
and going higher in far in this industry uh, if um, given chance and opportunity and other support to endeavor more in this thing i see myself going far and doing more better and contributing more in the aviation industry thank you so much for your time lawrence all right thank you sir